one. First of all, let me cover this. You know you don't want to cover that. Up. You know darn well you don't want to cover that. I don't want to cause no trouble in the house. Huh? <laughs> Like I said, man, we ain't ever a combination of speed and power to the table. You know, that's what we see, man. I've been, I've been training my ass off. I've leaned out a lot. <laughs> and, uh, you know, feel like I got great speed right now, great condition. I'm putting in the work, man. So, so you know, I'm looking forward to coming to the table as well. Are you, are you going to sit patient like Moses Cesar Lopez? Or are you coming out from the first round? Uh, you know, you know, Andre, you're three and three in your last six. A lot of fight fans, a lot of fight critics feel that you're undeserving of this fight. What are your thoughts? What do you say to them? Now it's me. Do now you? it's me. It is, you know, it's not anybody else that has to try to beat me to get in. Now it's you know, now it's me, the person that they think, okay, he's good enough because I'm the bird. Now, now it's bird over there. Stavrin says you, you will be the toughest, the toughest Mayweather fight to date. Andre Bruto, what do you think about that? I believe so, man. I mean, um, you know, the thing with it, you know, like I said, man, I bring that, I bring that real combination of speed and power to the table. And, uh, and, and a guy like Floyd. You know, he's very, like, good in particular. All certain guys he fights because he feels that they're straight up and down. And, uh, and when he says that, you know, he doesn't understand what he's saying. You know, when he say a guy that's looking like, straight up and down, it's, you can have great advantage, you can have plenty of power, but if you just walk straight up and down, and you don't got no movement to you. You know, I mean, he has that ability. He has that athletic ability. And the thing with me is I have that ability. I mean, I can build you as well, so, so, uh, I'm going to say a fight in your life to, be, to get that, to get the job done. What's that? You had to fight, fight, the perfect fight to get the job done. I just got to do me, man, and, you know, just, you know, like I say, camp is tremendous. Great. Amir. Um, I'm in great shape, and, uh, yeah, it's going to be me. Just bring everything, and, bring everything. That I have everything that God bless me with to the table. You think you, think you have to make it a war? Huh? You think you have to get Floyd into a war to win the fight? Nah. Nah. I ain't gonna get into my war. I think it's gotta be smart. Everybody it's tell me Andre Ward has never been in a boring fight. That this fight will be more exciting than May with a Pacquiao fight. Andre Bird. Andre Bird. Sorry, what did I say? Uh, Andre uh, oh, sorry. Andre Bird. Like, you know, like I said, I feel that that uh. That me with the out fight just left a bad taste in my mouth, know, and it transcended it over to this side. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, you know, like I said, they've never seen a boring, you know, under virtual fight. I don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm going to start doing. It, you know what I'm saying? So, so it's definitely going to be, yeah, it's definitely going to be something that they definitely want to tune into. Is it possible right. September 12th that Floyd Mayweather can grow old overnight? <laughs> Oh. At the end of the day, he's what, 38, 39 years old? Yeah, he's 38 years old, man. And, 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 and he's gonna have a, uh, a young, hungry, uh, uh, you know, fast, powerful bull on his ass. So, <laughs> so we're gonna see. Berto, uh, Floyd Mayweather was talking about fighting you and Kareem Mayfield as a aggressive boy. What were your thoughts? Oh, let's assume you're watching Monday Night Football with your boys. What were your thoughts? Because I'm fighting Kareem Mayfield, Andre Berto, you know, something cool for the fans. I mean, that's it, man. I don't to come and watch me. I mean, like sit down front row and sit down and watch me fight over to you for a reason. You see me watch other, other fighters fight for a reason. You know what I'm saying? If there's something that you're not worried about, something that you don't really care about, you wouldn't, you wouldn't take that time out your busy schedule to, you know what I mean, to come and see what's going on. So, so you know, like I said, man, I'm, I'm, I'm blocked.
blocked from any type of any type of crazy shit, any type of negativity, man. You know, we've had a tremendous camp. You know, we got a great confident camp. And uh, you know, like I said, man, we can dial that. Who are you sparring? Who are you sparring? Can't really say so. But, <laughs> but definitely, definitely top of notch sparring. And, uh, you know, that money really came by, but you know, you know, we're making it happen. Have you watched the Mayweather spar? No. Have you watched? You haven't seen it? First time in 20 years that he let people record his sparring for your fight. I mean, you know, like I say, he was his last fight, he wanted to do little treats in there. I mean, he did a live stream with the Kodo situation. He, you know, he's been doing it lately, you know, I guess, uh, to, I don't know, to, to just give some, some, I don't know, some bonus to the band. I don't know. You know what that's him, and that's his business. Brother, talk, about, talk about leading out, man. You obviously always been so very muscular. Yeah. This fight you actually seem much slimmer. Yeah. Why is that? Yeah, um, uh, you know what, man? I've, I've, I've always had a problem for some reason with like building muscle. You know what I mean? With uh, you know, trying to slow down my muscle building. Like I said, a lot of people think I lift weights and all this and all that. At all. Uh, no, I don't lift really weights and none of that. So it's like. You know, I have to be careful on how I handle my body because I woke up real easy and quick. And, you know, and I find myself sometimes kind of, you know, I mean, kind of fighting that muscle from time to time. So, like, you know, going in this fight, I just want to stay lean. You know, so I hired a, uh, a great nutritionist and chef. And she's been, you know, just put some great stuff in my body like I need. Just so I can lean out like I need to so I can be a lot more efficient. Andre, what's your swag level at? Because you said, like, you like very calm, cool, relaxed. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't man. tell that you better fight the biggest fight of your life in two yeah, weeks. Yeah, man, that's me, man. At the end of the day, like I said, you know, like I said, like everybody knows me, man. They know, you know, you know I keep it cool. Um, you know, I'm blessed right now. So what's the swag level at? I'm slapping. I'm swagging up to 110 right now. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm blessed, man. Um, you know, like my whole career has been, you know, has been you know, in front of that camera lens. And, you know, coming out of the Olympics and, 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 you know, going through, you know, being a top prospect and, you know, taking those drops, you know what I mean? It was, I mean, it was in front of that camera. There was nothing that I could hide, you know what I'm saying? So just to be able to get back to where I needed to be, he come back from shoulder surgery and getting back, man, I just feel blessed and, and, and look forward to taking full advantage of it. Will Amir, will Amir Khan be there in support <laughs> for your fight September 12th? I don't know. Because you guys are stable wins. Yeah, yeah, we're stable wins. I'm not sure. I don't know where you're going. How does it feel to be the underdog in this fight? You know, when you lost to Victor, you were the favorite. With Guerrero, the favorite. So, the roster, you always been the favorite. I've always been the favorite. I've always been the favorite. You know, but you, you guys even understand, like, being an underdog, I mean, that's not nothing to me, man. You know, growing up, I was always underdog. You know what I mean? Growing up, you know, you know I mean, coming from where I come from, my family's always been underdog. I always had to work twice as hard to be, you know, to be noticed or to be able to accomplish anything they want to accomplish. So it might be something for me, I mean, that's new for y'all to see, but it ain't nothing new for me. Bruno, who's walking you into the ring? Do you know yet? Probably <laughs> <laughs> some little, you know, little surprises. White class? Hey, maybe. We'll With a guitar? With a guitar. Seriously? Maybe, we'll see. Have we'll you visualized see. Floyd fighting yet against you in your mind that you played time. it out? And what do you see when, when you played in... All the time, man. Right? All I see is victory. At the end of the day, you know, I sit there, I visualize on a regular basis. I visualize, you know, walking into that arena. I visualize, you know, coming out victorious. I visualize the world being shocked. I visualize you holding this mic in front of my face, commenting and asking me how do I feel. You know what I'm saying? I visualize the whole situation, man. Anything that you want to accomplish, you got to visualize it first. That fucking right cross. <laughs> you know what, man? I, see, I can't. I, I visualize it, but I don't think I can tell you. I don't, you know. <laughs> what do the fans tell you when they meet you here in LA when you go on the road? Because obviously it's the biggest fight in boxing. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you know, if it was boxing or not, man, like I say, anybody that knows me, man, I've always, I've always had, you know, great personality when it comes to people. You know what I'm saying? I always, you know, for some reason had a gift to just attracting people because, you know, this boxing stuff here, yeah, it's a it's a job at the end of the day. It's a job at the end of the day. And, 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 and I come from like I come from something different. You know what I'm saying? I come from 
you know, very humble beginnings, and I continue to walk that way. Yeah, I have fun. Don't get that mistaken. I have fun. I, you know, I wild out from time to time. But, but you know, like I say, when I get love, that money can't get. You say this is a job, and we've heard uh, Mayweather say it's a job, and he doesn't really watch boxing. Mm. What about you? Do you like boxing? Oh yeah, do you I'm like a, watching. Oh yeah, I'm a fight fan. <clears throat> I don't know, he's talking about every fight. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, he's talking about I'm a fight fan. If it's, you know, if it's boxing, if it's mixed martial arts, if it's now I'm a fight fan at the end of the day. You know, I grew up watching some of everybody, and I still watch all the fighters fight now. I still watch them all. Andre, 40, 48 have tried, 48 have failed. Styles make fights. Do you have the right style to defeat Floyd Mayweather? I have the right style. <laughs> Bruno, have you seen your face on the side of the MGM yet? No, no. What do you think about it? You and Floyd? I mean, it's crazy, man. It's dope. It's dope. I love it. I have to ask you. You told TMZ that you heard someone breathing on the phone. Guys, we got, we got one more question. We got okay. Andre, Go at the face-off, did the breathing match the phone? <laughs> <laughs> the novice fan want to know? Real soon. <laughs> Real soon. All right, message to your fans if they're watching. Message to my fans and everybody. Appreciate for all the love. Make sure to tune in to the 12th. It's definitely going to be more entertaining than that pack here. Thank you. 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 Thank you.